Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beth and I am here to share with you all of my different art supplies. And we're going to do that by going through my book. Now, when I started this project years ago, um, I did not know about Ruby Charms, but lo and behold, I had to reinvent the wheel, so I did. And this is my version of a swatch book. So what I have here is just a standard binder with D-rings. <clears throat> I've got um, color combinations and different ways to um, mix colors and then different color combinations. And then I have my supplies broken down by type. Um, this first page is, um, let me turn the book this way so it'll make more sense. I have the Marco Pastels, but I only have 24 of them. So what I did was I made a combination chart of all the different color combinations I could get by mixing my Marcos. So I don't have the, well, when I did this, Castle Art hadn't come out with their, um, their pastel colored pencils and I can't afford Holbein's. So I made this and I used this instead. So let's get started. First, I have my oil pencils, and these are not in alphabetical order, it's just in order of how I got them. Um, I have the Brute Finish Squares, I have the Mark Arts, Witcher Naomi, um, and then I have the, um, these say Deli, but they're the Star Joy brand that um, Color My World worked with and they have come up with a whole new set which should be on its way to me before long. Okay and then I have my oil based pencils. I have Crayart which um, has very vibrant colors and then um, I go into my wax pencils. My um, best set of wax pencils are Prismacolor and uh, Sandy Olnock on her website at sandyolnock.com has various hex charts that you can purchase from her and download. And she's got them for Prismacolors and she's got them for Polychromos and there's a few more too. And I use this frequently to compare tonal values between colors that I'm using on a particular page. So this often comes out and sits with me when I'm in a coloring book. Otherwise, this is the color chart and I keep the two pages together. Then I have Castle Arts and Arteza and then the Marco Pastel I mentioned, and then I have Crayola Colors of the World Skin Tones and a set of 24. We go into then gel glitter pens. I have the Tan Mint set, which was reviewed by um, Jennifer and Steve Stay at coloringbliss.com, and this was their top um, budget gel pens or glitter pens and so I got a set of these and before I go too much further I, I do want to say that um, I love the color swatch charts that they offer on their website so coloring bliss coloring pages bliss.com um, Jennifer and Steve Stay have brought a lot to the world of coloring and I can't thank them enough. And I use their color charts swatching um, all the time. So um, to continue, I've got the Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust. I've only got a few of those. Um, sea Eater Markers Gel Pens, that's a mouthful. Um, that was a fairly large set and it had glitter and, um, 
pastels and all of that. Then I've got the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics flare pens, which are also gel glitter pens. And then it goes into whoop, miscellaneous extra and various pens and markers. This, conclu this includes uh, Bic alcohol markers, felt water-based fine tips, Pilot fine tips, Pilot B2 water-based markers, Artelicious glitter pens, which I had a set of 10, apparently, and then uh, Scribble stuff, which are just a water-based um, marker as well. Um, Tombow, I only have a few of these, but I have the Twin Tone and I have the ABT uh, water-based. And then I have uh, Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liners. The Crayola Super Tips. We're into the water markers now, the water-based markers, the Crayola Super Tips. Oh, hoo -hoo water soluble markers, and they have um, a fine liner as well. There's a set of 160. And then Tau Tree Art Markers, which these are into the alcohol-based markers. And then Beleza Suprema 168 marker set. I don't use my markers very often. I'm not good with them, so you won't see those on many of our coloring, um, on my coloring pages. Um, Derwent watercolors, which is separate from ink tents. Um, when I got my ink tents, I originally did the swatch chart. I loved it, but as I worked with the ink tents and got more comfortable and familiar with them, I realized how light they could be as well. And there was a huge difference in between the light and the dark version of the same pencil. So I've got two separate swatch charts for that. I tease a watercolors. And then I go into my chalk pencils. I've got Stabilo Carpathello, Generals. And then we go into chalk pastels, which are in the pans. This is Pebbles Eye Candy Pearlescent Chalks. And then I have a generic set of decorating chalks that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I've got a set of Artist Pastels, which these are the sticks. And then this goes into um, my paint supplies. I've got gouache and acrylic paint and apple barrel acrylic paint. And I put the black stripe down so when I put a color down, I could see its opacity and see if it was going to cover. Um, same goes for all of the embellishment paints that I have. So I've got Folk Art, Extreme Glitter, Color Shift, Glitterific, Dragon Glaze, Fabric Paint, Deco Art Enchanted, Deco Art Holographic Illusions, and then our Tiza Acrylic Markers, which are like Posca's, but they're the large nib. Then I've got my watercolors. These are in a pan set. These are my Low Cornell Pearl Watercolors, Kuratakis, Shuttle Art Metallic Paints. These are paint sticks. These are very similar to uh, ink tents, but they're in stick form. And they're Charvin Pastel Painting Sticks, and I'm going to do a separate video on those. And then I've got my Karen Dash. These are my aqua aquarelles. Boy, that's a mouthful. Mungio Oil Pastel Aquarelles. So I've got those. And then I've got gel crayons from Art Supply and King Art in Metallics. And then I've got some gelatos that are the iridescent set. Then I've got oil pastels, and these are the Mungio oil pastels. I've had these for about 20 years. They're dried out, and they need a new set, but I have them, and I can use them until then. And then the next thing I have is my color combinations and foundations that I can use on pages, whether that's satin glazing liquid or clear texture gesso or gesso or uh, gloss heavy gel. 
So those are different mediums that I use on pages. And that is my big book of um, mediums. That's funny, big book of mediums. Um, and this is what I use whenever I work in my um, work, play in my, um, in my coloring books. And um, I hope you found something in here that you found interesting. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm glad you stopped by and I'm glad I was able to share this with you today. I hope to see you soon. Take care of yourself. Be good and be good to yourself. And I will chat with you soon. Bye.